We're getting a first look tonight inside a new military training facility in Virginia designed uh, for urban combat. But some are questioning whether the facility was worth the cost as the military shuts down bases across the globe. Christine Frazau explains. I need three volunteers. Let's put him on the litter because he's bigger and he'll be easier to carry. The mission is to prepare and to protect. For these soldiers at Fort AP Hill in Virginia, it's about readying themselves for what Colonel John Picosic calls a new generation of warfare. Step. In the world that we face today, our soldiers have to be prepared to operate uh, in a nonlinear uh, battlefield where uh, you operate in and among not only uh, the wilderness area, but in and among the urban population. <laughs> That means climbing. Oh, it is low. And crawling. The uh, c confined space in Afghanistan, the tunnels, uh, the caverns there where a lot of the, uh, the enemy likes to uh, do most of their fighting. The layout is designed for a variety of training exercises. The design, a generic city that could be anywhere. Right now I'm surrounded by a mosque, an apartment building, and a church. There's also a city bus and a subway station. This is where the subway comes out right mm -hmm. here. But there's also something else. Cross his arms. The cost. Got the rear. Got. It was about $96 million. And much of it sits unused. David Williams with the Taxpayers Protection Alliance says it's money that didn't need to be spent. Wash it up. Whoa. Instead of building a brand new, almost $100 million facility, the Pentagon and the Department of Defense, they should have looked at existing training grounds, existing bases to accomplish the same task. That would have been a win-win for taxpayers and the Department of Defense. When I asked Colonel Pitkosik about this, he said Fort AP Hill is different. We have a number of facilities uh, that we can train, but this one really brings it to a new level, the fidelity and the level of realism that we have in terms of a place to train our soldiers. For the Army's asymmetric warfare group, Fort AP Hill is a necessary place for the new face of war. We are here. In Fort AP Hill, I'm Christine Frizzell reporting.